What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel Vikings season 3 episode 5 This one is called the usurper and Is that gonna be Kalf or is that gonna be considered Lagatha? What do you think? I mean that's somebody coming for the crown, correct? Mm -hmm. Stealing it when it is not theirs it's got to be Kelf or Einar. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah. I uh, think that's that's got to be it. Maybe we'll see. I mean, because it was a real shitty vibe in the last episode when you're talking about Kalf and Einar. Well, especially considering the fact that Lagatha thinks that she's coming home to somebody who's who's faithful and trustworthy. She and wanted to marry. Him. Didn't think that he was all about that and he is exactly about all of that Fame is exactly what he wants and he's made some very interesting alliances and I'm nervous Same. I am nervous because Jarl Borg with my yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jarl Borg's wife has teamed up with King Horik's son They are married nuts. I'll go back to my walking dead theories why on earth would you leave someone like that alive? Why? Come on, Ragnar, get your stuff together. Dude, Just the I fact mean, that he was like, oh, so, like, keep my son alive. Like, fuck you, Horik. It's like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. As soon as I kill you, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> That's just... I know he's an honor. Like, he even said that he's a good dude, but he also said he's a corrupt dude. But it's like... What benefit could it possibly provide you besides maybe some extra value with the gods for doing a good deed? I know. It's like, you know that that kid is super pissed at you. You know he's going to come back and try to Ugh. avenge his father's death. So upset about that. But that was, the whole episode was pretty deep. Like, we lost Siggy in that episode, which... But why? Exactly. The, the whole Why wanderer. those boys? Why now, Siggy? What does he do? First off, he wanted to kill the... the uh, he killed two boys. He possibly not I don't know if he directly did it. But who else would it He had some kind of influence be? on it. Exactly. And then he wanted to kill Ragnar's boys. Why? Why boys? Why a pair? Why Ivar? Yeah. That why mean, is he? Why is he relieving Ivar's pain? The monster. And why? Why do they need sacrifices? The little monster. Rude. I mean, that's what she called him. Oh, I'm like, he's just a baby. Yeah, that whole situation is just insane. And he basically left everyone with, uh, "Go talk to your seer about that." And mm. the dude is probably not in a really good shape no no so both kings have been getting a lot of slack from their folks i'm really nervous that floki is the only one who's got his head in the right place everyone else is dabbling in everyone else's stuff ragnar and rollo are both totally embracing the christianity like but i working like... with them fighting with them winning with them i feel like ragnar knows what's up yeah, he's but, always he's he's always one step ahead of everybody. Totally, like that's without question. But how how happy can Odin be with Ragnar saying the Lord's Prayer? Like that kind of stuff can't sit well with their gods. And I think just the fact that they're mingling, fighting together, partying together, like Floki's the one who sees all of it. And I'm just I'm worried that he's the only one who fully understands what could potentially be at stake. Okay. That makes me nervous because okay. he's the one who's fully connected. Like they're all connected. They're they're obviously all very committed to their stuff, but he's the only one who's not fully embracing all these folks. True. So, I'm really interested to see where that goes. Of course, the prophecy of Lagatha continues to just linger, you know. Should I read it again? You don't need me to read it. Again. Don't need to read it again. But just the idea that just the blood harvest and her relationship with King Eckbert and her prophecy maybe ending at a point where she, she obviously said she's gonna leave because she's got an Earl, she's got people to take care of. I wonder if things go badly there, does she come back? 
Oh, does she make it back? Could he, because he's going to try and fucking kill her. Could he be the trickster who's, you know what? Yeah, I feel like I feel like this is what it is. I feel like this is how it's going to happen. Because now the, uh, I mean, because we haven't seen the prophecy mean anything. I mean, other than like the blood harvest that like, yeah, you know, there was blood and sowing of seeds, but. I don't know. There was man. maybe sowing of multiple seeds. Maybe it's not like literal. Oh, stop. Those are my jokes. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? It's two in a row. I'm the Earl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that whole that whole situation is interesting because she's going to show up and I wonder if they're all going to try to ambush at, at Ragnar's place and not at Lagatha's place. No, I think they just want to kill Lagatha. So. Well, they said... No, they, they want to kill Ragnar too. Cause Eventually, but that's they... part of the reason why they all partnered up. Because Horik's kid and, and Jarl Borg's right. wife wants to take out Ragnar. But I feel like they needed to take out Lagatha first. I mean, she's showing up with all of their young warriors. I don't know what this young shit brought with him in terms of fighters, but that's true. We'll find out. It's all very. It's like very nervous time. Nervous, nervous time. Do you have any other thoughts? All right, no. let's go. Hey, there's my shield! <laughs> just wanted to say thank you again for the shield. That thing is fucking dope. It looks just like theirs. And I'm very worried Ragnar Tell me like. about Paris. Again? Please. Can Paris be the marble city? Oh, shit. It was amazing. It rises out of the water. It was like a dream. It has these huge walls, and inside the walls, are these buildings made of marble and stone. Marble. Something's gonna go down in Paris. Lagatha was interested in it too. But what I remember more is the beautiful women. He never told me that part before. <laughs> I almost questioned my vows of celibacy. <laughs> Why do you care, Ragnar? You have got um, interests at home there, sir. That has got not you in trouble ever before. stopped him in the past. That priest. Look at them. It sickens me. He's fucking paranoid. Floki hates Athelstan. He is paranoid. And jelly. Why? Super jelly. By the way, you mentioned it off camera. What the hell is Rolo going to do when he finds out Siggy is gone? Right. I have something to tell you. Siggy! Where are my sons? Rolo! Where is Siggy? I Rolo! can't find them. Siggy is dead. Oh. Uber and Fitzirk fell through the ice into a frozen lake. Siggy saved their lives, but she drowned. <sighs> this is my fault. I did not treat her well. This is my fault. Ah, Rolo. Thorin. No, don't come near. How can I help? How can you help me with this? I still find her beautiful. I don't know. I mean, Rolo's her face can are... heal. So yeah. can hers, right? Rolo had his freaking freaking cheeks ripped apart. Would you like another to Oh drink? man, he's drinking again. Give him another drink! He hasn't drowned in sorrow yet! <laughs> Why are we laughing, folks? Why are we laughing? Look at yourself. Now we throw rank down up from <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my. You can tell that Bjorn is holding back. I mean, come on. Yeah, Rolo's way more experienced. Oh, shit. But Bjorn is now pissed. Oh, yeah, that's why you don't have... Oh, God. Shit. Damn. Body slam! Give him the tombstone! Oh, no. <laughs> wrong. You can see me! Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking each other up. Oh, this is fun to them. I feel like they're both working out some things, though. Oh, 100%. Him with Porin, and then Rolo with Sydney. Do you want 
want to like be knocked out. Damn it, dude. Perhaps they can also become Christians. Why not? Whatever they choose to do will be up to them. Who asked you, priest? He's a Christian. He's always been a Christian. I don't know why Ragnar listens to him. I don't know why Ragnar listens to me. Not when he can listen to you, Floki. Ooh. I really like Alistair. <laughs> Something happened here when we were away. Something happened that led to the death of Siggy. Spill the beans. You do it. A wanderer came here. We had all dreamed of him. He said his name was Harbard. He cured Ivar of his pains. His name was Harbard? Yes. That is what he uh -oh. said. Uh-oh. What is Floki's face? And what else did he do? He seduced Oslo. She slept with him. Oh, boy. Wow. It's because of him that she was not looking after the children. And this, he said his name was Harbard. Why? But what does it matter? Harbard is not a human being. Uh-oh. Harbard is a god. Oh, shit. He came to visit, and such a visit must always be celebrated. If it leads to death, it also leads to life. But I don't want to tell Ragnar. It is not my business oh. to tell Ragnar. It is my business. Oh, shit. I feel like I've got information over your head. I don't like this. Erlingstad, your properties, your lands, your earldom, all have been usurped. See? Yep. It's fucking See, cough. Yeah. It's the truth. Forgive me, I'm only the messenger. Who has done this? Who has usurped me? Kalf. I supported you in Wessex, now you must support me. Together we can overthrow this usurper. You came to Wessex of your own volition. Wow. Secondly, if there's a civil war, many of our own people will die. Is your earldom really that important to you? Yes. Fucking Wagner, come on, man! This is mine. There is never much use in arguing with you, Lavender. We shall go and talk to him. What's that fucking look, man? What is that look? Yikes. He didn't have any more information to tell her, like, oh, by the way, he's got some help. It was Harbor. Oh, shit. I'll tell you about who he was to your son, the son you leave behind. When you went away, Harbor helped him. Flipping it on he him. He took away Ivar's pain. He's sleeping. He never slept before. And it was Harbor who stopped his suffering. Dang. <laughs> At what cost, though? Was he good? Oh, jeez. I, I can't even look at the screen right now. Oh, yes, Lord. he was a good man. <laughs> she is, like, dodging all of the questions. <laughs> or answering them perfectly. kills me he was like trying to be like the good daddy and didn't work no out. he wasn't yeah he was just trying to show her up that he's gonna handle and not make him cry well yeah and then it didn't work out but he wasn't doing it to for the baby he was doing it to prove a point no i know <laughs> with her what's the matter with you judith hmm? do you want me to call the physician monk no there is nothing he can do for my condition condition what condition? Broken heart. Answer me! I'm with child. What? Shit. Well, that's impossible. We have not slept together as man and wife since our son was born. Uh-oh. Whose child is it? Whose child is it? <laughs> What's gonna happen to Athelstan? Shit! Son? What's gonna happen to Athelwolf? Nothing. Then come with me. Eckbert probably loves Athelstan more than his own son. There has been some trouble between the Northmen and some of the landowners. Mm -hmm. One of the farms of the Northmen was attacked and burnt down. Some people died. They said it was just the beginning, that they would come back and kill them all. Is this the blood harvest? 
My agreement with Ragnar Lothbrook mean a great deal to me, so I want someone to go out to the settlement with a large force and bring these disputes to an end. Oh God. It's got a little Russian to release. Yeah. Why did he have a smirk on his face, that Eckbert? Because he's probably sending his son into a very dangerous situation. But why would he have a smirk on his face, though? Why would you be happy about sending your son into a dangerous situation? Because if he's dead, then it opens up the opportunity to bring Athelstan back so that he could be with Judith. Oh, fuck. I didn't even think about that. Oh, shit. Here we go. Once again, Ragnar. He doesn't look so bad. Oh, no. Never as King Ragnar. There's a city called Paris. Yes, I've seen its gates. I can see that not the living, but the dead will conquer Paris. Oh, shit. And I also see that the bear will be crowned by a princess, which does not bode too well for you, King Ragnar. This year, we shall attack Paris. This will not be easy. By all accounts, Paris is a huge, well-protected city. This is something that our people have never attempted or dreamt of before. Athelstan. Was that like a full-on jab right there at Floki? He's like, yeah, but look at Athelstan. <laughs> he too told me about this city. We must find him! For it is good to travel with hope and with courage. But it is still better to travel with knowledge! Yeah! Kolf! You have usurped my rights and my lands. I expect you to hand both land and title back. <laughs> Hello, Kolf. Perhaps we might discuss these matters privately. I feel like that was shitty right there. Like, she's supposed to be involved in this too? Hello? Come this spring, I'll be invading a country called Frankia. And I would like to invite you, your men and your ships, to join me on this expedition. I'm sure Lyotha wouldn't approve of this. And if I refuse, you will lose everything. Even my earldom. You mean my earldom? <laughs> that is between you and my ex-wife. And good luck with that. I was born here in Hedderby. I have a better claim than you do. You betrayed me. I did. Despite the fact that I desired you, I never stopped desiring you. What am I supposed to do with that knowledge? What do you want to do? Fucking kill you? The hell was always chosen over me by my father and my mother and my Lagatha. Why would I not want to betray him? We've already tried that, dude. I know, we've done this. Life is Doesn't matter what I do. Ragnar is my father, he is my mother, he is Lagatha, he is Siki. He is everything I cannot do. Damn it, Rolo. Damn it, I know. I love you. Nothing good can ever come of my life now. Jesus, man. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that I feel like he's playing with this though? To laugh about. If you truly knew what the gods have in store for you, you would go down now and dance naked on the beach. <laughs> what? The bear will marry a princess, and I can tell you that you will be present at the ceremony. Now go and leave me. A bear will marry a princess. When he said bear, my immediate thought was that it's Bjorn. S same. When he says bear. And his prophecy, in Ragnar's prophecy, didn't it say that his son was going to marry a princess? No, he said a bear. Marry a no, princess. initially. Oh, I don't know. I didn't write that one down. Yeah, I think his initial prophecy is that his son was going to marry a princess and become more famous than him. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Not the babies! Is fucking Athel Wolf going to, like, kill all... Oh, no! No! Motherfucker! Are you kidding? No! 
Why do I feel or like... Or is this what Eckbert wanted? You know how important it is to me to like, what, kill them all? Oh my god. Seriously? Fuck! Come on! Oh, shit. Oh, no. oh baby. <gasps> no! For our Lord. What the hell? Was that really supposed to be the plan? There are things you do not know about this Harvard. Harvard would take Auslug away from our children, and they would go off together. Oh, Jesus. That's what happened when you were away. Wait. There's more, Ragnar. Do you not know who Harbard is? Harbard is another name for Odin. It was Odin who slept with his wife. The god Odin who came to cut the cat. I thought he was gonna fall. <sighs> Fucking Odin? That was like very Jack Sparrow right there. The whole flipping thing. You took it upon yourselves to violate a treaty that I had signed in good faith! God knows what the Northmen will make of these terrible events. I cannot tolerate treason. Guards, arrest this man, this man, and this. And my Lord Redo. For I showed him nothing but love. This treachery is my reward. Um, what about your kid there? I think he's got something special planned for his son. An Aethel Wolf. You think he will escape so lightly? All of you! I need to speak alone with my son. Oh boy. I feel like he's gonna be like, good job, buddy. Why? Why do I feel like he's gonna do that? Fuck. See? Not to be trusted. Thank you. Wow. You did the business so well. How could we ever have allowed these Northmen to establish themselves here? We have now caught out all of those nobles who question my rule, and we have reason now to rid ourselves of them permanently. Wow. That, well. that was all a plan to get rid of the people who weren't faithful to him. It worked out beautifully, my son. Even Charlemagne would have approved. Oh, oh my god. No, man. The heel turn is complete. I knew you couldn't trust that fucking Eckbert. He oh, looks sketchy. Oh man. Didn't I say that? You, Haven't I been saying that this whole time? Yeah, I just wanted him to be good. He told Ragnar he was corrupt. Him and I believed him. Him and Ragnar was so much fun together. Damn. That is some I didn't shit. want it to be true. There was children. There were children. And were right in the back. Many children. Trampled. You dicks. So who's the trickster now? Is Lagatha going to show back up there and get messed Murdered. up by her or by him? I need to read the prophecy one more time. I'm not going to read it out loud, but. This is just so crazy. I don't know. Because it talks about the city of marble, like she's gonna go there. Well, they specifically said the word marble when talking about Paris, so I wonder if she's gonna go there with them. Once things don't work out at her place. Okay, but I I just, I don't. I mean, it's all gonna, we're gonna see it all, it's all gonna play out. I, it, we're gonna see it all happen. I know, but I'm trying to it's figure just, it out before it does. It's just. I can't figure this part out. I was really, really hopeful, and every episode, it just kind of got worse and worse with Eckbert. Just 
he would do like a look or he would do a thing. See? Like, I, I, it's not that I didn't see it. I didn't want it to happen. That's not what I wanted. No, I didn't want it either, but like he looks sketchy. Yeah, I mean, all kings are for the most part. So. Ragnar's not sketchy. Well, apparently he's kind of dumb. Yeah, it's true. Unless he's got a plan. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that we don't know but, about. But I mean, he, why would he sacrifice so many of his own people if, yeah. he, if he thought that, you know, he just Eckhart got couldn't be trusted? I mean, he, he, he fell for it. He just got really excited at the potential of having all that land. And Lagatha fell for it. Well, he like, sweet talked her real good. And that is that ball tea. That ball tea that did him in. That giant spa of ball tea. It gets them all in. Mm hmm That plow. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Anyways. Wow, I'm They've got all kinds of problems now. Yeah. They got problems at home. And they're gonna have problems when they show back up to England. I feel like they need to stop going to England. That's not gonna happen. Their next trip is the, they're going to friggin' Paris. I know, but they need to stop going to Wessex. Yeah, maybe. But I, I don't know. They're not going know. to because they think they have land there. Yeah, they think they have people there. And they're all gone now. And Eckbert did all of that. Did he really do all of that just to weasel on his folks? Get rid of the people who weren't loyal to him? That seems excessive. I mean... You do excessive things to prove a point. Like, I don't know if anyone's going to go against him at this point ever again. No, no, no. But, I mean, it, it is a hell of a way to prove a point. Because it's like, that was probably the most extreme thing that he could have done as a king. And his, his, his people were like, no, we're not hanging. Like, we don't want to be with them. I don't care what you say. We're not going to mingle and live with these people mm -mm. i mean ironically it's ultimately what he wanted so it's like he agreed with his people which is kind of weird <laughs> like i i don't i don't know it's a very interesting way of i mean he, going about your business but he got them to fight for him so that he could get mercy mm -hmm. that was the so, that was the plan all along right so now he has all that so like yeah exactly it's like what does he need these people for yeah. he doesn't it was basically he used that plot of land as a piece of leverage to get what he needed he got what he needed and then he took it back Eckbert, man you're on the shit list too yo Wow. I mean, out the wall. Fuck that guy. Oh, fuck that guy. Damn it, Judith, though. For real. <sighs> yeah. Athelstan, well, oh, run, buddy. I mean, run. He could fight now, so. I don't think he's. I don't know. Can he fight Athelwolf, though? Yeah. Ragnar trained him. Come on now. Anyways. Ragnar, though. Not. <laughs> Not supporting Lagatha in this situation is kind of I'm sketch. really upset about that, actually. Really, dude? Like, she did so much for you. Yeah. Come the fuck on, man. I mean, I... He, but he wants Kalf to go with him he has, to Paris. But he has like, a bigger plan. Lagatha would have gone with you to Paris, you dick. And those are her ships and stuff, so just give it back to her. Well, the problem is... Like, there's, there's no one else. There's a fight. Yes. If Lagatha tries to take it back, there's a fight. Yeah. People die. Ragnar's trying to prevent any death so that he has the maximum amount of people to go to Paris. I get that. Well, so, I mean, it would have been nice if he would have said that to Lagatha. Why? She wouldn't... He even said it. There's no reason to argue with her. Like, <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah. All right, It fine. doesn't work. But, yeah, this is... It feels like we're all, like, in a big pickle here. Because it's like... Every decision feels like <laughs> something bad is a result of it. Do you want to know what I my joke? No. Um, Pickled in that ball tea. Sorry. <laughs> but it, it seems like any direction that they pick, it all the door opens to something negative mm -hmm. and something bad. I don't, I don't know what a good outcome would... I mean, Kalf would just have to bow down and be like, okay, fine, here... 
Which That's isn't gonna happen. That's just hap- not gonna happen. No, it's not gonna happen. And he's punking. He's punking Ragnar. He's punking Lagatha because lurking behind all of this is, you know, Yalborg's wife and Horik's son. Yeah. I don't know their names, and I don't want to know their names. Nope. But I don't care to know their names. It was another really interesting prophecy that we got to experience that. The seer starts laughing at Rolo, talking about you'd be dancing naked on the beach if you knew what the gods had in store for you. It was like you're gonna what? be you're gonna be in the ceremony when the bear marries the princess, and that I mean that's gotta be Bjorn. Like that's gotta be him, hundred percent. But I feel like Poron is the princess for she, some reason. But I don't think she, no. no. I think there's probably a reason why they're having problems that Bjorn's probably just gonna balance and go somewhere else that sucks too i'm sad that's what it feels like at least unless i mean you said it from the beginning she was like the moment we met her she was like very mysterious about she is it's super weird so like what's going on there actually and like like aslug is like really like dedicated and focused on her so yeah like it could be the possibility who knows but that doesn't that's aslug's little sister yeah, maybe. Who knows? I, I don't remember who Oslog brought with her to, you know, yeah. Kattegat. So I have zero idea if, if Porn was part of that crew that came in. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like that's the direction they're going in, but who knows? They've done a good job swerving before. Mm-hmm. They're really good at throwing swerves in this show. But, yeah, there's a whole bunch of shit playing out. It is all super interesting. And what is all of this shit about Odin? Well, the fact that I did, I thought Harbard that, is fucking Odin. Well, no, Harbard was fucking Oslog. Well, thank you. Apparently, multiple times He's, she smelled like fish. I feel like he exaggerated that. Yeah. Maybe just to rile. But, I mean, up. I don't know. I feel like Floki was like, "Yes, I have information. Right. Your wife was totally cheating on you, but, and I know it." But what does that mean if? If Harbord was truly Odin coming to visit them. And why like, with the kids? What was with the kids and why is he? I mean, he was talking about how death brings life. So it's like... Is Oslog pregnant? I don't know, but why well, I would have to imagine. If she's pregnant with Odin's baby, like... That's nuts. Yikes. That'd be just insane. So there's... Uh, Judith with Asselstyn's baby. There's a whole bunch of shit going down. I am very excited to see where the next episodes go for this week. Because we got... It feels like we got some really good stuff coming up. Yeah. How many episodes in this season? Ten? Ten. Okay. And then they jumped to 20. Really? (laughs) Yeah. You're joking. The last two seasons are 20 episodes each. What? (laughs) The fuck? I'm pretty sure that's what I saw when I... I was doing. We're the, never gonna catch up. Oh, we'll catch up. Yeah, we'll get there. Wow. But yeah, that's pretty intense. So, do you have any other thoughts on this episode? Not right now. All right, y'all. Leave some comments down below. That's gonna do it for us today. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. We will catch you guys next time. Have a good one. Skull.